Hi, this is John Boy with Soft Cell Video Productions. I would like to bring up a topic of concern for anybody that lives in the city of Las Vegas. That would be the highly controversial shooting of Stanley Gibson, an unarmed man that simply refused to get out of his car. I've heard a lot of versions from newer sources and this is what I've come up with. After sifting through all the data, Stanley Gibson was ordered to exit his vehicle and refused to do so. In a complete overreaction by the Las Vegas police, the department dispatched a small army of officers to the scene. It was determined that lethal force may be necessary. There were two confirmed snipers assigned to kill Mr. Gibson if he made any threatening movements. After a backup officer arrived, a stand-down order was given. Only seconds later, a backup sniper, Officer Arabello, fired seven shots into the body of an unarmed man with a high-powered rifle. Arabello claimed he heard a shoot command over the radio, although this contradicts what all the other officers reported. In Stanley Gibson interview number three, Eve confirms a stand down order two minutes into the interview. Officer Arabella's ex-wife said that her husband had told her that I just killed a guy and got away with it. Truly, the Las Vegas Police Department has gone rogue. It cannot be presently trusted to fire only when there is clear and present danger. It is up to the public to denounce this kind of barbaric law enforcement. I ask you to attend any and all protests when our civil liberties are at stake or a miscarriage of justice has been performed. I will be doing a follow-up editorial on a recent decision by the Nevada Supreme Court in regard to the use of deadly force. I'm still doing research. Stay tuned by subscribing to John Boy on YouTube. This is John Boy, and that's the way I see it.